and a developing story in college sports. The Houston Chronicle reporting that Texas and Oklahoma have reached out to the SEC about joining the conference. Mm. The schools and the league won't comment, but fellow Big 12 school Oklahoma State said in a statement that, quote, if true, we would be gravely disappointed. Imagine if that comes together. We've got to welcome in Paul Feinbaum now. Talk more about this. Paul, you're live from Birmingham at SEC Media Days. And, and Paul, we've been saying release the Kraken all day long with the NHL expansion draft tonight. So with this report, is that about to happen in college football? Uh, this is going to be like the Bing Bang. Uh, it is so big uh, for, for this reason, Ryan. Not only is it big if, if it happens for the SEC, but it affects every other conference. You know, what, where, where is the Big 12 without its two bell cows. I, I know what you just said from uh, Oklahoma State, but they're, they're not going to hold up the Big 12 by themselves or with Texas Tech or, any, or anyone else other than the two we're talking about. It affects the ACC. It affects uh, the Big Ten because what it, what it means is expansion is back on the table. And 10 years ago, it was like the California gold rush when Texas originally started talking to the Pac-12 and was going to take a couple of schools with that. As a result, you saw expansion in every league. So if the SEC goes to 16, the Big Ten's not going to sit there at 14. The ACC is not going to do that, nor is the Pac-10. So we, are, uh, we, we, th we thought June was the wildest month in, in recent college sports history with NIL. Get ready. This is going to be crazier. Oh, could you imagine the shifting from conference to conference? Now, it's one thing to want to go to the SEC, but how much do you think the SEC would really want Texas and Oklahoma to actually join the conference? I, I think they would want them for a couple of reasons. And, and the, the first is the most obvious. They don't want them going anywhere else. I mean, the SEC became the biggest guy on the street because uh, they went out and, and, and picked very well, and they have such a serious and passionate fan base. But if you're the commissioner of the SEC, Greg Sankey, do you want Texas and Oklahoma going to the Big Ten or the ACC or someone else and suddenly start challenging your, your position as king of the hill? So I think that's a big motivating factor. Another thing is television. I know that sounds strange on a program like this, <laughs> but uh, the SEC is about to enter into the, one of the biggest television deals with ESPN. The college football playoff expansion is on the table. So I, I think uh, the SEC is sitting here. They got the call. They thought about it. And I think this thing is pretty far down the track. Oh, man. Wow. So you mentioned that Texas and Oklahoma are the big dogs in the Big 12. So if this happened, how could or could at all the Big 12 survive? I don't think it can. Uh, this is a league that is already challenged for a couple of reasons. They, they have very good television partners for, the, for their Saturday games with this network and others, but they don't have a conference network. The ACC has one. The Pac-12 has one. The Big Ten has one. And naturally, the SEC has one. These are very important moneymakers, Ryan, as you and, and Elle know. And they have, they have been in a tough position because of that uh, for many, many years. And then they never came up with an answer. And as a result, I think they could be close to losing the two biggest names in the league. Wow. I just can't even imagine. It just boggles the mind to think how that would look from the SEC side and, <laughs> of course, how it would impact the Big 12 and all these other conferences. Paul Feinbaum with the latest on what could be a major shift in college football. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.